Hi guys, it's Haley from Daily Dose of Darling and today I wanted to do a tutorial on I guess this vintage inspired hair and makeup look. Um, I've been wearing this look a few times on my blog and a lot of people have been wondering the products I use on my hair and um, you know on my face as well so I thought I might as well do a tutorial on it. I think this look is really great for any kind of special event. Um, it really plays up all of the feminine features on a woman's face and um, the softness of the waves really adds to the femininity in the look as well. So yeah. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is pin back my hair just so it's out of my face and then I'm going to prime my skin um, with my favorite primer at the moment from Youngblood. It's the Youngblood Mineral Primer and I'm just going to put a pretty generous amount just mainly focusing on my T-zone. Um, since I do have pretty oily skin, if I don't do this step, my makeup tends to just slide off, especially if I'm wearing it all day long. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite foundation from the drugstore at the moment and this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Pro Matte Foundation. Now this probably only works for people with pretty oily skin. If you have dry skin, I would recommend staying away from this. Um, but when I do apply it with a damp beauty blender, it really just blends out flawlessly and doesn't budge. Since I'm wearing this makeup look for night, I'm going to go in with a heavy duty concealer for underneath my eyes. And this is just the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW20. And then again, I'm using my beauty blender just to sheer everything out under the eyes. And then I'm going to go in and start contouring my face and I'm going to highlight with Max Prep and Prime in the color Light Boost. Um, this is absolutely amazing for highlighting the you know high points of your face and it really does stay on all night or all day and I think it just gives a really pretty glow. I think one of my favorite aspects of this look is that I focus a lot on the skin. I always feel my best when my skin is looking flawless and it's always enhanced with a good contour and highlight routine. And since I do have pretty oily skin, I do have to prime my eyelids. And this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, just the one everybody uses. And I just go all the way up to the brow just to make sure there's no creasing throughout the day. After that, I go in and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown just to carve out my arch. And then I fill it in with a Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Kit from the drugstore, and I use the medium shade. I always like to put some kind of powder on top of my eyeshadow primer just so everything blends smoothly and it doesn't get patchy when I'm applying my eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with MAC Shroom just to highlight the inner corner and eyebrow bone. And then focusing on the middle of my eyelid, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible color. Um, and this is in the color Ice Latte. And it's just a really pretty color and it really makes your eyes pop. And then on a MAC 217 brush, I'm going in with the color Woodwinked um, just to define the crease and socket a bit more. And then probably the trickiest part of this look is just the eyeliner and I'm taking the L'Oreal Carbon Black Eyeliner and this is definitely the blackest eyeliner in the drugstore in my opinion. I've tried most all of the eyeliners and this one comes out the sharpest. Um, I do use a smaller more defined eyeliner brush just for the wing just because this one it kind of gets everywhere and it's really messy but I do like it for the base of my um, eyelid to start off with. I think one of the biggest tips I've learned myself while doing liquid liner is to look down into a mirror. This just helps really follow the natural curve of your eye and I think it's just a lot easier when you do it this way. And then for my holy grail um, eyeliner, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Line Stiletto in the color Black is Black and just to find the wing just to make it a bit more cat eyed. And then we're not going in with any false lashes today just because I want this to be a really wearable look and I think you can get pretty long lashes using um, my two mascaras. So first I'm going in with a Revlon Lash Potion just to really voluminize my lashes. And then after that I'm going in with my Holy Grail um, L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara to make them really long. Now if you don't like spidery lashes then I'd skip the second step um, and just focus on thickening your lashes to your preference. I take Max Woodwinked again under the eye on a pencil brush and also apply a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. Then to brighten my eyes up even more, I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner in the color Nude and this just really helps make your eyes pop. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. Now I'm just gonna wipe away any of that fallen um, makeup residue and start contouring. So I'm so excited because I get to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm using the medium shade here just to really define the cheekbones. And that's actually an e.l.f. brush. I need to get a new contour brush. Um, but for now, that one fits in the hollows of my cheeks and it's really good for contouring. And it's I think it was only a dollar. So I would recommend picking that one up if you're on a budget. 
And then, yeah, I'm just going to go in the hollows of my cheeks, also along my the temples of my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And just to make my lips look a little bit more pouty, after that I'll go in right underneath the bottom lip and just to find that area right there. forgot to put blush on in this look I might just apply bronzer but oh well um, this is the Laguna bronzer from NARS and I love this because it's matte so it doesn't really draw any attention to blemishes or scars or any hyperpigmentation you might have I just love matte bronzers and this one just looks so airbrushed and flawless it's definitely worth the $40 or whatever it is for it um, and yeah I'm just focusing on the outside edges of my face and that's all I'm doing for bronzer and then I'm going to set my under eye concealer with the Anastasia Beverly Hills color um, banana in her contour palette and I don't know if you can tell because the light is super strong but this stuff is my absolute favorite for setting on my under eyes since it's a yellowy color it really just brings more attention um, to the high points of my face and then I'm going in with just her regular powder in that contour kit and just um, you know powdering the t-zone on my face just wherever I get oily and then my favorite part is always highlighting, especially with my Mary Luminizer by The Balms Highlighter. I don't know if you can tell, but that stuff is so amazing. Everybody needs it in their makeup kit, and I mean everybody. Even the people that don't wear makeup, you can definitely benefit from highlighter. I just think it brings so much life to your face, especially since I wear matte foundations. It can really kind of make my skin look dull and like there's no luminosity to the skin. So this just really puts it back into my face, and I love that look. And then I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, what the heck is she doing at this point? Because um, I'm curling my lashes after I apply mascara. But I just find that my lashes stay curled this way. I don't know what it is, but I've been doing it for years. And I just like really curly lashes. Um, and then after that, I'm, the whole part of this look is probably the lips. And this is the NARS Soft Matte Lip Pencil um, in the color Cruella. And I find that this is so good for my skin tone and my hair color. Um, I don't really like wearing reds a lot just because I don't think, I don't know, they're a little too strong for me. I never found a color that really suits me and I like this one because it's kind of like a cherry red. Um, it's not like a brick red so it's not super dark and I think it's perfect for spring. To set my skin I go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Okay, so the makeup is finally done and now onto the hair. Now if you have frizzy hair, this look is probably going to be harder for you. So I just put moisture back into my hair just to tame any of the flyaways. And I'm going in with the BioSilk Silk Therapy just to the ends of my hair. Um, it's really helpful if this is day two hair, but you know, I did it straight out of the shower, so I guess it doesn't matter. But now for the curling part. So what you're going to want to do is probably the opposite of what everyone has always told you to do as far as curling your hair. Um, instead of curling it away from your face, you're going to curl it towards your face and don't touch the curls once you've already curled them. You just want to let them set as long as they possibly can and cool, um, just so the curl holds naturally for a longer amount of time. And you do this to your entire head. Um, I take about two inch sections, so I don't take really small sections, just because this is a bigger curling iron. And I will go ahead and link all the products below so you can know where to get them and what size and everything. Um, but I hold it just for about 10 seconds on each curl, just to ensure that they really last. And I even curl my bangs this way as well. Now this step is optional, but I do like more volume in my hair, so I tease the crown just about three inches into the crown of my head. I just tease lightly, just so not to damage the hair, and then I brush everything out. lightly spray the bottom of my curls with some Garnier hairspray. It doesn't really matter what kind of hairspray as long as it's just set in place. Now you can probably leave the hair down and just like that, but since I like to be a bit more vintage-y with this look, I'm going to twist back um, the sides of my hair. This looks probably best when your hair is parted on the side, but you can do it with the middle part too. I think that looks cute as well. Um, but I just make sure to use a couple bobby pins because it can become loose if you don't secure it a lot. finish it off with a light coat of hairspray and yeah this is the final look so 
that's it for this look. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. I'll have linked below as well. And check out my blog, DailyDoseOfDarling.com, for more fashion, beauty, and home decor updates. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.